Okay, now you are under arrest. Stop, you better stop. Oh God. Ow. Go down to your knees. Put your hands on your head, do it right now. Nothing like an early morning chase on the Los Santos freeway to get your blood pumping. Continuing northbound. Or westbound. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devon Plays LSPDFR. Today we are headed out with the Chumash Police Department. Uh, you can see we're in this uh, Liberty equipped uh, Ford Explorer. This uh, vehicle was made for me by Avion Gaming, but the skin is available for download for any of uh, Kane's base FPIUs. So I'll make sure that's down in the description for you. Uh, beyond that, we're going to head on to this kind of cloudy looking nasty day and see what we can get into. Let's go ahead and get started. We've got a 415 and Vinewood Hills. Units respond code 2. Well, I'm not going to help with Vinewood Hills, but uh, I am going to get out and talk to him. Where is this guy going? His rear end of the back of my cruiser. And then tried to drive off. Are you serious? 10 Lincoln 21. I've been involved in an accident. 10 4. I've got the driver stopped here. Can you start me another unit from state? 10 4, copy. There we go. All right, let's run this guy's plate real quick here. Let's see what we've got. It's an FQ2 uh, Lincoln Young Sam 6081. He's got expired. In of course he has expired insurance. He hits my car, so of course he has fucking expired insurance. That's just how this shit works. So, all right. Uh, Michael Anderson is our RO. Uh, not stolen, at least. Uh, he's about to clear. does have a gun permit. Okay. Um, all right. He's also got a bunch of priors and stuff. I just want to stop traffic because, quite honestly, this is going to get stupid. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm Officer Devin, Chumash Police Department. Uh, you know what I need to add to... I never thought I'd need this week to smell alcohol from the vehicle. Of course we can. I need to add, like, a, are you okay? Do you need medical assistance? We're going to get him out of the car, so it's going to be all right. Cool. Uh, all okay. right. You're covered. I appreciate that. So, all right, man. Um, let's see if he was wearing his seatbelt. He, he, ha he has it on. Did you have your seatbelt on during the crash when you hit me? Okay. You was about to tell me you had your seatbelt on? Okay. All right, man. Uh, same question about your firearm, and I guess that answer is yes, too, because I only have one of those. So, anyway. All right, man. <laughs> you have any idea why I'm out here talking to you today? You're a cop? Then you ought to know better than to rear-end another cop and and, dri and try to drive off. Like, okay, dude, so that's the reason for the stop. Just, you know, so you understand why I stopped you, dude. You struck this vehicle. You struck a vehicle back there. It was my vehicle while I was sitting there waiting to turn onto the highway. And then you try to drive off. You're in a hurry? Okay, well, that's just too fucking bad, dude. What if somebody hit you in your cruiser and tried to drive off? Like, how would you, how would you feel about that? So, uh, where are you coming from today, man? You just out cruising? Okay, where are you trying to get to so fast? Anywhere you like? Okay. All right, so you're in a hurry to get fucking nowhere, basically. You can cancel checks. Lincoln, I know it has it on me on, on that call out, but honestly, that just kind of just kind of works. So, all right, man. Well, here's the other thing too, dude. Is uh, I'm getting a pretty strong odor of alcohol coming out of the car, man. Have you been drinking today? You're an adult and can drink anytime you want. Yeah, dude, you can totally drink anytime you want, except for when you're driving a fucking car. How much have you had to drink, man? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to, man. But if you'd like to tell me, how long ago was your last drink? A few minutes before you headed out. Okay. All right, dude. Why don't you go ahead and step out the car for me, okay? I think you kind of pro probably knew this was coming. Okay. All right. I don't know why it did that, but okay. All right, man. Come on. What we're going to do is actually step up in front of his vehicle since I didn't leave a lot of room and a trooper didn't leave a lot of room behind me either. So, uh, why are they moving? So, all right. Anyway, all right, I'm going to release him now. So, all right, dude. Okay. So you said you're a police officer. There we go. I just want to stay out of the road. You said you're a police officer, man. I just want to confirm that statement. You, uh, you are indeed an active, an active law enforcement officer. Yeah. So you, you work for Los Venturas. Okay. All right, dude. I don't know if you have any kind of ID on you or anything, but uh, so. All right, man. So basically, I, I believe you're under the influence of alcohol. You base, you've admitted to me you've been drinking. 
Uh, do you want to take field sobriety test? You don't think so? Okay, yeah. I'm kind of not really surprised by that answer. Uh, the state offers me, or the state requires me to offer you the uh, the opportunity to take a breathalyzer test. Uh, in the state of San Andreas, if you don't take a breathalyzer test, then your your license will be suspended for at least a year, in in, in addition to any other penalties. So, um, would you like to take a breathalyzer test? No. Okay. All right, man. That's fine. Well, at this point in time, you can go ahead and turn around, and place your hand around your back for me. Um, I'm. Uh, you can go ahead and place your hand around your back for me. I'm placed you under arrest for uh, leaving the scene of an accident, as well as I did not mean to hit him. As well, uh, unlike that guy from the last episode, uh, as as well as operating a vehicle under the influence, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, only be appointed by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights, man? You do. Okay. All right, dude. I appreciate you. Do you have anything illegal on you want to tell me about? I'm gonna find out. Do you have anything illegal in your vehicle you want to tell me about? There might be some pills in there. Okay, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and patch you down. Let's go ahead and hold still, man. I mean, he might. Why are they driving? I'm gonna make the radius bigger. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the radius like a million meters. I swear. Okay, actually, has a legit Los, Ant uh, Los Santos Sheriff's Deputy or Sheriff's Department badge. I'm willing to uh, just say that he was drunk and he slurred. He meant to say Los Santos and not Los Venturas. But uh, just for the serendipity of this, we're going to go with it. So he actually is a cop. Okay. But he can't be out drinking and driving regardless. So doesn't have a gun on him or anything. So, all right, man, come on. You can have a seat in the back of my car here. I'm glad I called that trooper out here to witness this so that... Oh, God, he... I feel kind of bad because we're in his jurisdiction, and so someday I may actually I have to depend on him for backup, and he might be the grudging what? type. Hey. Have a seat, sir. So, I knew a guy who, who's... Uh, I knew a guy who's, whose motto was never give a ticket to a guy you may have... Who's, who's, yeah, never give a ticket to a guy you may depend on at some other point in life. But it, this isn't a ticket, man. You can't be out drinking and driving. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and see if there's anything in his vehicle here. There's a difference between a speeding ticket and endangering people by driving retardedly. And, and he just, what, why do you have why do you have a bunch of Xanax? Uh, I'd like to believe that you were taking that, you know, to put it in evidence, but that, that that's probably not what happened. He also has an empty up and Adam sandwich wrapper, a uh, 357 Magnum revolver speed loader, and a uh, homie Gino waistcoat, as well as this backpack with uh, 35 Xanax bottles. So he's got 35 30 count Xanax bottles. Pardon me, while my my old brain does a little bit of math. That's um. 30 times 35 is that's well 1050 doses of, of of Xanax. Cool. 10 Lincoln 21. Start me a Toco truck. Nice put it on a flatbed for him. Assistance required on um, All right, cool. Great Ocean Highway. Well, I think that's going to just about do it for our gentleman here. I need to figure out how how over bulk 1,050 doses of Xanax is and then get him booked. I'll ask the trooper if he'll transport him and then we'll uh, I really don't want to call Los Santos County to do it so anyway we'll get him charged and then we'll uh, get back on the road. That's a bit fast for through here. It's uh, 25. 10 like a 21. He can show me on a stop. Especially since he's still doing 35. If he'd have slowed down, that'd be different. But he didn't even try to slow down, so. Alright, we got this Regina here. Let's see what it be. It is Frank Ocean Frank, 8827. Expired insurance on this guy, too, for a J Spring Style. J Spring Style is also valid and clear with a. Uh, the handgun permit, so we'll go make contact with him. All right, so now what we're gonna do is uh, slow down traffic. You see, I made the radius just gigundous, like 300 meters or something. So, whoa! Shots fired. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't see him. I think he's down in front of his car. Yeah, he's firing over the top of his car. Dispatch, he's got me pinned down. Copy 
think I might have got him. Why is his truck moving? Like, I don't understand. And he just... Yeah, he's down. He's like, he's, he's down. He's down. Okay, I got the gun. I got the gun. 10 like a 21. Start me an ambulance. We're going to pretend like we're giving him first aid by searching the body. It's my new way to simulate this. So I was trying to be a little, uh, I don't, I don't want to say tactical, but a little more realistic. You really wouldn't just stand there and blaze away. I was trying to go backwards and get to cover, but unfortunately I moved the wrong way because sometimes movement on controller can be goofy. But anyway, uh, no, I'm not switching to keyboard before somebody throws that out there. Aiming is better on keyboard. But anyway, Queensbury Boxing Club membership card, a prescribed asthma handle, some blotter paper, and some loose change. What if he was on a bad trip? And that's why he came out shooting, thought I was a you know giant praying mantis come to eat him or something. I don't know, or a space alien come to abduct him and take him to, yeah. Anyway, all right, cool. Um, here comes the medics. Did we take it? Yeah, we took a hit actually. I don't see where we took. Oh, we took a hit in the wrist, or just above our wrist, really. We did lose a little bit of health, so yeah. Just, I mean, for real, bully him out of the way, ambulance. I'm, I'm serious. I'm also going to have them spawn closer, I think, in the future. I think I'm going to change those down to, like, 50. I need the one. Oh, yeah, those are... We got two females. I don't... Fortunately, there's no female version of the Safe Life vest, which is upsetting. I wish there was. That would be cool. I'd like to see more... More assets for females. That'd be cool. Looks like he is alive. That's weird, because I thought I got him in the head, but I don't necessarily mean anything. There was a police officer here that was shot in the head earlier this week. Or earlier, I should say. I don't know exactly what this is about. But anyway, it was a graze, but uh, he Love managed it. to return fire and took out the suspect. So, good on him. He's doing okay, for anybody who was wondering. Uh, suspect is also still alive. Um, our suspect is also, also still alive. And they're going to transport him out of here. So we'll put his charges on somebody else. Let's go ahead and search his vehicle, too. Uh, let's see here. Search a vehicle. Superimpose into the door there. All right. So in the car is a counterfeit uh, Cisnata Nova purse. Nove. I don't know. Several counterfeit um, Sebastian Dix handbags and a duffel bag with 35 five-count baggies of roof and all. Wow, what a fuck. That's a lot of roof and all. So he's moving some date rape drug. Um, I have to figure out what the bulk weight on roof and all in Ohio is. Uh, and then uh, he's got a bunch of counterfeit like handbags and shit too. So I'll probably charge. I should probably charge him with counterfeiting in this case. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So we got a guy with some blotter paper on him. Let's see if we can search that blotter or not search, but uh, ooh, okay. Turn, please. My God. I need to actually turn the... I think that some of that is simple foot controls. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So we weren't able to actually test the blotter paper. I should have done that. Oh, well. Um, well, yeah. He's going to be off to the hospital. We're going to... Uh, our cruiser got shot. If, if this pack had another car in it, I would use it. But it doesn't. Because our car has been rear-ended and now shot. And as soon as I get in, that window's going to break. So... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fix it. I tried to leave the, <laughs> I tried to leave the damage to the rear of the car too, but uh, the game crashed, so I had to restart it. Any fucking way, you guys don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him charged, and then we're gonna get back on the road. Sixty-eight and a fifty on that guy right there. And the reason he slowed down is because he caught up to that tornado, or because he saw us pull up behind him. But either way. We're going to be stopping him. Ten like a 21. He can show me on a stop. All this space and you won't pull over? Like, there's all this space over here, dude, and you won't, like, you know, get off the road a bit? I'd like to get him past this person's driveway. I don't really want to block it. But, uh... Uh, I'll pull up one more time. I guess I'll just keep an eye on him. This'll do. Alright. We got him stopped. Is that a... 
Is that a Washington? I think that's what that is. Let me see. Yep, it's a Washington. Tom, Charles, Paul, 73, 24. It's fouled and clear to a uh, Hannah Miles. I don't think Hannah's driving it, but we can't know that. Uh, Hannah has priors for petty theft and murder. Okie dokie, those two things are not even close to the same. I don't even know how the fuck she's out. That was 2018, and it's 2021, and I don't know how the fuck she's even out. But oh well. Uh, anyway. You know, until I get 21, start me a second unit. With the day we've had, and with her having murder priors, I just... I just... I just don't know, man. But yeah, we're gonna get a partner out here with us to just kind of be cool and yeah. Hi, how you doing? I'm Officer Devin, Chumash Ooh. Police Department. Do you have your ID, proof, insurance, all that good stuff on you, ma'am? You got your ID. All right, so we've got Hannah here. I was wrong right, about that. She's showing you. us all valid information. Um, okay, let's see if she has her seatbelt on. Okay, she does. Okay, uh, Hannah, do you have any idea why I pulled you over today? You want to state for the record it's not actually being recorded? Okay, absolutely, Hannah. If you want to record this, that's totally fine. I will go ahead and let you know my body cam's recording as well. What the fuck? So, so you're upset that my body cam's recording, but you're recording me? Like, I mean, doesn't that not make any sense? Like, you want to record this interaction? It's for your safety and ours and vice versa so okay anyway all right so do you have any idea why i pulled you over today oh that's right i already asked her that okay so the reason i pulled you over just to let you know is uh, you were traveling quite a bit over the speed limit you know, you're doing uh 60 68 when i clocked you uh that would be 68 and a 50 you didn't know okay all right yeah it's 50 through chumash and then it goes back to being 60 when you get on the other side of chumash so uh anyway where are you coming from today okay any where are you headed to anywhere in particular don't matter okay all right all right that's totally fine then just go ahead and sit tight for me okay she was just about to not get a ticket until she decided to have an attitude I wish she would get out of the frickin' road. So, all right, let's just go ahead and write her a ticket here. So, traffic violations, speeding, first or second offense, 11 to 20. Not a construction zone. So, let's go ahead and write her a ticket here. Not getting anything from, you know, not getting anything from her. You know, no alcohol, no nothing like that. All right, ma'am, I did write you one citation today. It is for speeding 11 to 20 over. Uh, like I said, you were going 18 over. Uh, it's going to be a $160 fine. I'm going to go ahead and give you this ticket. You signed this for me. This is not an admission of guilt. This is just let me know you're going to take care of this in court. If you don't take care of this, it's going to be a warrant for your arrest. Um, you can go ahead and you'll be free to go as soon as I get back to my vehicle, turn off my lights. You drive safe and have a nice day. Hey, man, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate you, dude. But her murder priors and the day I've had, you know what I'm saying? Take care, buddy. Sorry, we're going to go ahead and let her get out of here. She's going to get back on the road. And what? So are we? What the fuck? 10 Lincoln 21, show me out with one. Ten four, copy that. Ten, six. Dude! I missed. Dispatch, I've got people fighting. I don't want my gun. Get on the ground, dude. Stop right there. Stop right there. I have a job interview. Stop. 10 Lincoln 21, start me an ambulance. Come on, dude, you're gonna be all right. Ambulance. Assistance required on, They're gonna um, hate me for calling for calling a fucking ambulance so much today. This is the second time we've called them, like right here too. This is like right where it happened. We're just gonna, we're just gonna. Hey, come on, man, you're okay. You're okay, dude. You're okay. Uh, so he's. This is Joe Thomas. He's got a pill bottle containing a few 10 milligram methadone pills, a counterfeit DOA agent badge, a Glock 17 with a scratch serial number. A Zippo lighter, a map of the city of Los Angeles, an empty condom wrapper, and a pack of gum. So he's got some methadone. He's got a counterfeit DOA, which is the Drug Observation Agency, for anyone who doesn't know. So it's the GEA ver GTA version of the DEA. And he's got a gun with the scratch serial number. And he decided he was going to fight that dude who took off. We'll try to make contact with him later, I guess. Um, okay. All right, cool. All right, man, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. 
An ambulance is coming. Hopefully. At a snail's pace. Maybe if I spawn him. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Yeah, here they come. Alright. Man, those lights are bright. Look at that. I'll dazzle you so it will. Let's go ahead and just stop traffic, too. Not that it fucking matters. Most people obey. Time to get busy. Yeah, dude, he had some kind of reaction to the taser. I'm not it's really not sure what's going good. on with him. He should be fine. Hopefully he's fine. If he really ought to be, yeah, he's fine. All right. No he's way. mine. He's mine. We'll take him by the hospital later for observation. I need a choice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Let's see if we can, like, get him to do something. All right, man. Come on. Let's get out of the road. Uh, let's go ahead and clear traffic control. Yep. All right, dude. Come on. I'm going to walk back down to my car, okay? So, uh, yeah. I wasn't actually anticipating doing this whole scene in first person, but when that happened, yeah, it kind of worked out pretty well. This is usually the part I'd cut away, but hell, we're almost back to the car, so. All right, dude, at this point, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, I'm appointed to by the state of San Andreas. We're going to go stand right in front of my vehicle here. So, all right, man, stop right here, okay? So, go ahead and turn around and put your hand around your back, dude. Should have already had him in cuffs, actually. I'm going to put you in cuffs, dude. Whoa, hey. What the fucking hell? Okay. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Let's see if we can get him. I know sometimes these pets that get spawned by ambient things do this when they get tased, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why that would happen, but I'm not a fucking coder. What do I know? So, all right, dude, we're going to try this again here. Why don't you go ahead and just... Here, let's, let's do this. This should work. And then that should get him... There we go. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, man. So what was that all about, dude? Why were you guys fighting for? Uh, I have that now. Altercation. There we go. What were you guys fighting for? Somebody disrespected your sister? All right, dude. All right. Did you? So you know him then? Okay. Yeah. So you've never met this guy, but he disrespected your sister, so you just came up and rocked him. Yeah. I guess. I guess he does know you now. So. All right, dude. So I already know you got. I already know what you got on you, man. What you got that gun for, dude? Oops. What are you carrying that gun around for, man? Same reason I do. All right. Well, I'm carrying one with a scratch serial number, so. That's the deal, man. Like, like you, can't, you, you can't be having that, man. Do you have a Do you have a methadone prescription, dude? You only need a prescription for taking it. So you're just carrying around methadone and not taking it? Yeah, I'm buying that one, man. Come on. You can have a seat in the car for me, okay? Go ahead and just put him in the car here. All right, sir. So you can have a seat in the back of my vehicle here. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, cool. And get in the car ourselves here. So this is a pretty nice car the Avion made for me. Um, I really like his work. His speed radar unit up there, his laptop. It's got, you can't see it because I can't look down far enough. But it's got the touch screen, like the pad here, but there's a keyboard down there too. Seat organizer, all that good stuff. And then a uh, dickhead in the back. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and write his name. See what he's got going on here. Oops, I don't want vehicles. I want, all right, Joe Thomas. He doesn't have anything. He's 18 years old. Out fighting people for his sister's honor, I guess. So, all right, cool. Uh, I think we're gonna do one more. So I'm gonna get him charged, and then uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get back out there. We have a person attempting to steal a car. Okay. Chumash. You know, part of me wants to stop that guy instead, but. Someone's trying to steal a car. I'm responding code three. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll cut my siren when we get close, but... 10 Lincoln 21, I'm going to be in the area. 10 4 10 23. 
Dispatch, you want to go ahead and start me another unit? Yeah, Dad, I went. 10 4, copy that. Backup required in uh, Chumash. That guy right there just busted out a window. Okay, hey! Bye. Shots fired. Assistance needed in Chumash. Is he down? I can't tell. Just peek the corner here, yeah. I was a lot better shooting than I normally do. <laughs> Ten Lincoln 21, go ahead and roll me an ambulance. Let's see if I can secure the gun here. Okay, I got the gun, I got the gun. Shot two people in one day, dude. What the hell, man? We're not gonna have a job after this. They're good shots. I mean, I mean they're they're good shoots, but jeez. Alright, so this guy's a handgun, which we know, a mini crowbar screwdriver, and a smartphone. This is Lior Fan Fanois. We got another. Hey, we got a we got a different ambulance every time. I think that's kind of cool, actually. So, all right, uh, let's get out of their way, guys. Come on. Sorry, man. Apparently, we need to wear a fucking plate carrier in Chumash. I, these other guys have the right idea, because, geez. Wait, is that the only female cop in Chumash? Yeah, I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let me help. I'm covering you. Let me help. I should let her get to the other side. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want to delete the other car because I want to search it in case he threw something in it. There we go. <laughs> he done bled out while you were trying to figure your shit out, sister. It's all right. I imagine this dude's dead. I kind of domed him. Like, that was a headshot that counted right there. He just kind of, like, slowly crumpled, too. Yeah, he dead. I kind of figured. So. Alright, well, we would have had him for possession of criminal tools. Uh, criminal damage, even though that car window's not actually broke. I hear the glass. Oh, he must have broke the window into this car. Alright, well, never mind then. He must have broke the passenger window into this car. Okay, let's all step over here out of the way. Sorry, dude. God, I keep walking into you, man. I'm sorry. It's just because you got that vest on. I think it's so cool. I want it. Anyway. Uh, well, shit. Yeah. Don't know what the fuck else to do with this guy. 10 Lincoln 21. Can we get the coroner? Assistance required in Chumash. The... I... It's not that fucking hard. I, I, was, I was about to say, I swear if they try to turn around again, they're going to hit the coroner. Oh, no, they didn't hit the coroner. I'll be damned. I guess they wanted to talk for... Yeah, they did, too. Oh, my God. I thought they were going to car to car there for a second. All right. Well, the coroner team's here. They're going to bag and tag this guy, and I guess what we're going to do is... Uh, I guess that's going to do it. I guess we're going to go do the court thing, and we're just going to let this play for a minute while they try to unfuck themselves. Let's just go ahead and make their lives a little easier. Life is like toilet paper, long and usual, but always ends at the wrong time. So true. So true. But they've got him bagged, and, uh... Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to work anymore. Like, you know, realistically, you shoot somebody, you're off for a while. We shot two people in one day. Uh, I only know about one time that that might have happened. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> we're going to go do court. Okay, so I figured I wouldn't drive very far away lest we get into yet another shooting. But we do have, like, four people we want to do court with. So let's go ahead and do that. Michael Anderson was our first guy. That was a gentleman we pulled over for ending our cruiser and then trying to drive off. Now, he ended up being a police officer. I'm going to go ahead and go with it, even though he said he worked somewhere where he didn't have a badge for. But, uh, I'm going to assume that he meant he worked for Los Angeles County. Um... Since that's the badge he had on me, they're charging him with failure to stop after an accident, OVI first offense, uh, felony three, possession of drugs. Um, ended up being like eight times the bulk weight for Xanax. So uh, it's not, I mean, it ends up being a felony three because of this, just the large amount, but it, you know, um, 
Xanax is a Schedule 4 drug, I believe, so a bit, a bit down the list. But anyway, and also refuse to take a breathalyzer test, which should just get him a year suspension. Uh, so yeah, he got um, two months for he got two months for the uh, for, for the stop. Uh, he got a he got a license suspension for four months. Uh, they were kind of lenient with him on that one. Uh, and then also uh, possession of drugs got him uh, three years in prison, and I assume. He won't be a deputy any longer, so I guess we don't have to worry about him showing up to one of our scenes one day. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can ever RP that out in the future. Anyway, uh, Justin Reef was the gentleman who stood in for our uh, our first shooter, uh, who we stopped for speeding uh, down there on Encino. Uh, and a charging him with felonious assault and also uh, attempted to commit a major offense, which would be murder. Um, I didn't charge him per bullet this time since he had an automatic frickin' weapon. I did charge him with... Um, I did forget to charge him, actually, with uh, possession of destructive devices, but that's just not the felony five and probably the least of his worries right now. Trafficking and drugs are the felony three for the, um, what did he have on him, roof and all? Yeah, which is also a Schedule Four drug, um, so, but he had, like, um, it was, like, 17 times the bulk weight there. Um, uh, boo-boo-boo, because I believe it's 30 grams or 10 doses, and he had, like, 135 doses, or I don't remember, but anyway. Uh, possession of LSD, that was just a small amount of blotter paper he had on him, and then also discharging a firearm to police officer should guarantee him at least nine years. He's doing life, so he's doing nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. He's doing 19 to life, basically. Um, so we'll call that 20 to life, just for the hell of it. So, earliest he can get out is, uh, what, 2041? And he should be um, 62 years old, so he's going to spend the the best of his adult life in prison for trying to shoot at us. And I mean, because I guess because he had all those drugs in the car. I, I mean, I don't really blame him. Now, the lady that we thought was going to murder us, uh, since she had murder priors, ended up being the coolest person we dealt with today. Uh, we only wrote her a ticket, and I wouldn't even have done that if she hadn't had an attitude. But maybe she doesn't like cops. W wonder why. Uh, anyway, we wrote her a ticket for speeding. Uh, she ends up getting a hundred thirty-one dollar fine, which is about twenty-nine dollars less than what it was what what we quoted her. So look at the judge giving her some savings. All right, cool. Joe Thomas, uh, that was a dude who just started beating a, that that eight-year-old kid who just started that fight with uh, with dude who disrespected his sister. For probably, you know. Anyway, I don't need to get in what happened here. Y'all can use your imaginations. I'm sure you can figure it out. But anyway, assault, uh, felony possession of drugs for him. I think that was the Suboxone that he had on him that he didn't need a prescription for because he was just carrying the Suboxone. He wasn't taking it. He it, it was his lucky it was his lucky Suboxone pills, and I'm such an asshole for taking them from him. Uh, possession of a defaced firearm. That was the Glock he had on him. Possession of criminal tools. That was actually for the fake DOA badge. Now I thought about charging him with the federal impersonation charge, but he didn't actually like present himself. As a DO agent, had he said, "Well, we were talking, I'm, I'm a cop, leave me alone," kind of thing, that would be different. But instead, we just got him a crimp because that was probably his intent. Um, and I imagine the DOA would like to have a conversation with him, anyway. And then also carrying a concealed firearm for that same Glock, and he is going to do two years and nine months on that. Um, didn't even get any time for the assault. Uh, it's a misdemeanor. Technically, don't even know if the assault charges should have went since we didn't actually have a victim. But um, we'll say we contact. We we'll say we got a hold of the guy and he wanted to press charges. That's what we'll go with. And then our last guy, unfortunately, doesn't get a court date because his date is uh, with a higher power. If you believe in such a thing, which I do. But uh, anyway, we sent him to meet him. And uh, we'll see how that goes for him. So, hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR, where I believe we have the highest body count of any other video I've made. But I might be wrong about that. Um, I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know if I'm wrong, because, hey, why not? Anyway, I really do hope you all do enjoy the video. I got some more good stuff coming up for you. Would like some more suggestions for departments. Uh, it'll be a little, I'll be a little slow getting them out, because I'm kind of, again, between skin guys at the time. But, uh, uh, I'm always looking for new cars. Uh, it can get real hard to find smaller departments, so, um, we may end up seeing copy. some more Blaine County, Los Santos County, and Los Santos themed videos. I like to try to spread them out, but anyway, uh, that's enough of me talking. You guys stay safe out there, okay?